At this time, we'd like to invite all of our children ages 3 through 5th grade to please come forward for a special time with Pastor Lee. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Everyone is so unique from their head down to their feet. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Every color, every race, all are covered by his grace. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Well, good morning, everyone. I'm so glad to be back with you. It's been such a long time since we've had children's time, and it's so good that you're back here. I'm so glad to see all of you. So today I'm going to show you some pictures on our special screens today, and I'm going to start off by asking you, have you guys ever heard of something called Ripley's Believe It or Not? No? None of you have heard of that? Okay, that's perfect. Well, there are some books that came out, and a whole bunch of them called Ripley's Believe It or Not. There was a guy named Ripley who liked to write about all these very strange things that have happened where you'd almost have to see it to believe it. In fact, there was one story in one of these books where a guy talked about how he had a chicken, and the chicken that he had laid an egg, and the egg was not very round. In fact, if you look at our picture, it was, you'd almost have to see it to believe it. It was not round. Isn't that crazy? That's that's really different and strange. And there was another story about this lady who had 68 hula hoops that she was able to have spin around her body at the same time. Do you believe that's true? You believe it's true? No, some of you said no. You'd almost have to see it to really believe that that was true, right? Well, you know, in our story for today, we meet a guy named Thomas. Many people call him Doubting Thomas, right? Because he was one of the followers of Jesus who really wanted to be able to see Jesus in order to believe. In fact, he said, I won't believe unless I actually for myself see Jesus and put my hands in the nail marks and in his side where they pierced him. I won't believe unless I, unless I see it, unless I touch it, right? But you know what's amazing is that Jesus appeared and he allowed Thomas to do just that to put his hands there and his, and, his, and his wrist there and also in his side to see that he really is risen from the dead. Isn't that amazing what Jesus did for Thomas? Isn't that awesome? You know what's also amazing is that Jesus loves you and he loves me and he rose from the dead. And you know what's amazing too is that he gives us his special thing called the Bible, his word. And that's how we know for sure that he really did rise from the dead. And that's why when I talked to you several months ago about faith, it's important that you guys remember that we believe we trust in Jesus, right? We have that wonderful gift of trust in Jesus. We believe that he really did rise. And you know what's also important, guys, is that you share this message, that anybody you see, you can tell them that Jesus died on a cross and rose for them as well. Can you guys maybe do that this week? If you have a friend, someone at school, you can tell them all about Jesus. You can tell them about what he did for you and for them, guys, okay? Now today, I want to make sure and give you guys something very special. So I brought my special box today, and in my special box, I know you're all focused right now, is some special candy. I have these special little suckers. They're called blow pops. Each of you is going to get one of these special candies. Are you excited about that? Just a little bit. All right, before I give this all to you, I'm going to have you go ahead and do your prayer hands, and we're going to say a special prayer to Jesus who is with us right now. Okay, let's go ahead and do our hands, and we're going to pray. Ready? I'm going to back up just for a moment here, not for any other reason. All right, let's go ahead and pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for forgiving us and for rising for us. Help us to share this with others. Amen. All right, let me go ahead and give you your special treats 